Hello there, collectives, and welcome back for another love reading. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I know, you know, my channel, I am growing it. It is not at its full potential as of yet, but it will be. You know, I just have to keep working at it. So, uh, you know, subscribe to this channel if my energy resonates with you. Hopefully something will jump out to you and, uh, you know, resonate with you. If not, thank you anyway for stopping by. But I do believe that the ones who are supposed to be over here will indeed be over here. But I do love you guys so much for your support. So we're checking into the Divine Masculine's energy here. And we know most of the Divine Masculines are in separation with the Divine Feminine. Most of these Divine Masculines are stuck with karmics. I got a couple of different decks out here. This one that I shuffled underneath the bottom of this one, it says side chick dude drama here. And next to this one, you have deception and lies here. Deception and lies. Uh, this one has masked offer here. Masked offer. Not really, you know, masked offer. They're not really showing you who they really are. They may, they may call you. You may get a phone call from them. Uh, and they're... Uh, Ooh, this is get all this on here, and they may be um, offering you something or giving you some type of fake apology or, uh, you know, you know how they they try to come in and and charm you. That is for the divine feminists who have not officially walked away and blocked themselves here. And this one says, "I keep looking up at the stars, hoping you are looking at them the same time that I do." So it's like. This person, who have, this divine masculine here is dealing with their own issues here. But they're thinking about divine feminine while they're doing this. Uh, underneath the bottom of this deck, it says lack of faith. Lack of faith in a partner's decision of, build, of making abilities or being around another man or woman and remaining faithful here. Then you got third party uh, issues uh, given to two. Cheater, liar. That is showing up in the reverse, but it is there. So, whoever this divine masculine is, is dealing with some sad chick energy. Or maybe they got, whoever they're dealing with has a sad dude. <laughs> and it's drama. But regardless, they're dealing with some type of deception and lies here. So, let me see what's going on with the divine masculine's energy here. Let's see here. You know, it seems like <clears throat> the divine feminine had to uh, move on with divine feminine. Ugh, look. Oh, I don't want to take that card, so I'm gonna sit this. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back in there, and if it's meant to come out, it'll come out. Let's see. All right, spirit, show me the divine masculine's energy, spirit. What does the divine feminine need to know, uh, so the divine feminine can be made aware of? What does the divine masculine need to know for divine masculine's highest good, so that they can heal and be the best them that they can be? Spirit, show us for the divine masculine here. What's going on with this divine mask on spirit? Show me. You guys are having an amazing day. Marry me here. So this divine masculine got marriage on their mind here, collective. Now this one got marriage on their mind probably because they was in some type of relationship that they don't want to be in. It ain't real. They got mass love here, mass offer, deception and lies here. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy for this Divine Masculine. What's going on with this Divine Masculine here? Show me the Divine Masculine here, Spirit. What's going on here? Divine Masculine, thinking about the Divine Feminine like this here. Now, Divine, see, this card came out again, y'all. I put it back in the deck, and that's how I'm going to start doing my cards. I, I put them back in. I said, all right, Spirit, if it's supposed to come out, it's going to come back. And it came back, and this one says, down low. I should have been truthful about my lifestyle. There it is again. Some of y'all are dealing with a divine masculine who was on the down low, or maybe their person. Because we saw we saw side chick, side a uh, side dude drama. Maybe whoever they're with is on the down low. Maybe they didn't know that their person was in the same sex relationship or that their person had the taste for the same sex. Put it like that. It came out, y'all. I'm just saying. But somebody, somebody wants you to marry them. So I hope it ain't the same person. 
I will have to feel like this divine masculine is thinking about you in a long-term commitment because they've been done wrong here. They're getting done wrong. I feel like the lies and deception is on whoever the divine masculine is dealing with at this time. And they're on the down low. Their lifestyle is like this. And the divine masculine does not trust them because they can't even be in a room with the, with the same sex or the, the same sex. Uh, and they're all over them. It's like you, your divine masculine can't even trust themselves with the side chick that they're messing with or whoever they decide to choose. They can't even hardly keep up because they're they dealing with third-party issues, see? They're dealing with third-party issues, giving to two, cheat a liar. This is what they're dealing with. Oh, this is what this divine masculine is dealing with. They're dealing with somebody who's on the down low here. So I feel like the divine masculine's Wait a minute. Somebody saying, Bestie, no, you're worth, you deserve better. Some of you divine masculine, some of you divine feminines moved on because you know your worth and because you had a very, very strong support system here. Because you were set love. See? I feel like this divine masculine is thinking about the love that they have for the divine feminine. They want a commitment. But I do feel like whoever they're with is on like that here. But it say, the divine masculine says, maybe it won't work out, but maybe saying if it does will be the best adventure ever. See, this divine masculine is thinking about their divine feminine. And I hope this ain't the same. I hope this down low energy is not for the divine masculine here. I feel like it's whoever they're with, the side chick or the side dude. Uh, well, I feel like whoever they with got a side chick or down or, or, or dude and they're on the down low. That's what I see. See, new man here. See, somebody, somebody, somebody on the down low, y'all. Somebody got a new man, too. Maybe, maybe it's a new woman here. Somebody's on the down low. Oh, my goodness. Somebody got a new person in their life. So maybe, maybe this is what, maybe it's just telling you that it's a new person here. And I feel like whoever the divine masculine was messing with, had a side dude because they got a new man, but maybe they're down. Maybe their new man is down low. See, that's why I said drama. This it said it said uh side chick slash dude uh issues or drama. See, this is drama here. This is why this divine masculine is thinking about the divine feminine and this love and wanting this a relationship because they got dog bad. The way they did you, Divine Feminine, was nothing in comparison. They was around a bunch of snakes. See, now they're thinking about the Divine Feminine like it is a safe place. See, they want a commitment, see? And see, it's karma for them. It's judgment. This is judgment. This Divine Masculine is getting back. They're getting judgment because uh, they they want this commitment with you. And out of all this drama they're going through and around all this deception and lies, they realize who is the safe place, who has not been deceptive, who has not been trying to harm them and do some, some snake-ass shit to them. All thing you wanted to do was to provide a safe place for them because Divine Feminine wanted them to do the same for her. But they was too busy, you know, messing around with karmic energy, going out all out there in the gutter, and you're only as good as the company you keep. And because this person chose something other than their divine feminine, they're under judgment. This is why this is done to them so cold. This this is a cold blow, I'm telling you. That's why they want to run back to the divine feminine. They want to just settle down because they realize. <laughs> now, even though you probably met your divine masculine, they was in this playboy energy, you know what I'm saying, just in and out. God dang me, what they just been through, shit, they ready to sit their ass down somewhere and settle down now because they realize it really ain't shit out here in these streets. <laughs> I'm telling you, they looking at how cold the game is. <laughs> and they realize, man, you better get your ass, you better get your divine feminine where it's safe at <laughs> and sit your ass down because out here ain't nothing but snakes. Whoever they were messing with, I feel like has a new man here. Has a... a, a has their person has a new person here got a sad dude which is a new person to them but i feel like whoever the sad dude is 
is the download. <laughs> this little sat the new man that that the uh that they chick got. Whoever they they person was cheat. Whoever the divine masculine uh karmic was cheating with was a down is download. Let's put it like that. There's someone new that that this karmic of the divine masculine start messing with. But the karmic started messing with a new man that happens to be on the down low. Ooh. Bankrupt. Somebody ain't got no money, though. So something is going on in this divine masculine's life. Seems like they chose a very unhealthy lifestyle with a karmic. Now they're being played. Now they're feeling desperate and destitute now because they're going to have to start over. Look, child outside the relationship, marriage here. Ooh, so this divine masculine going through a lot of shit right now. I'm talking about they going through a lot of stuff right now. Let's see what's going on here. All right, spirit, what's going on with this divine masculine here? Now, for some of y'all, I don't have to say it like this. For some of you, um, for some of the divine masculines, they got an outside child out here. They got an outside child. They got an outside child, perhaps. And if you was in a relationship with your divine masculine, then they got a child. Let's just say they got a child. But it says outside the marriage or the relationship. Well, if you, if you, if this divine masculine was married, they got another child outside their marriage. If you were in a relationship with your divine masculine, that means your divine masculine had a child with someone else. Oof. But their money is funny, but you know their money going to be wrong anyway because they're going to have child support now. If they got a child outside their marriage, they got to pay child support here. Now, that's for some now. I know it ain't for everyone, but that's for whoever. But that somebody's got deception. It's a lot of deception going on over here. Like I said, they feel like you're a safe place, but I feel like they are receiving judgment here. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy for this divine masculine. What's going on with this divine masculine, Spirit? What is the what does the divine feminine collective need to know? What does the divine masculine need to know? The divine masculine needs to know that they need to self love themselves here. They need to be single for a while and stop jumping in these relationships after relationship after relationship. You need to self heal so that you can heal your childhood issues because. It's like you didn't want to commit to the divine feminine. You want to come in here now. You want to come in now, but shit. Look at all this baggage you're trying to bring in to the divine feminine. So you could be deceptive and full of lies too with the divine feminine. If you're trying to bring this whole load into her, that's not fair. But the divine masculine, you're going to have to heal. You're going to have to get to yourself. Stop thinking that you can be with every beautiful person here. Look. It says, cuz, this some Jerry Springer shit right here. And I'm taking, see, this some Dr Jerry Springer shit. It is. For some of y'all, y'all divine masculine is into some scandal ass Jerry Springer shit that they don't want you to know about. But they, this is how they feel about, this is how they feel about you. They they love you. Uh, they think about you. They're full of emotion. Look at this water. You got water in the heart. So you know this person, it's like they, they had to really receive this judgment and go through this karmic ass jerry springer type of shit in order to realize that they need to heal get your ass somewhere and sit down and stop trying to chase after everybody you had the divine feminine trying to give you love what happened to that all divine feminine got to take your love after you messing around with some type of shit that's embarrassing the whole community probably know about this shit everybody talking it's some ratchet hood rat type of shit uh associated with this this is some social media type of shit. This is your business all out here in the street type of shit here. So I feel like here, this divine masculine, whoever that they chose over the divine feminine, because, you know, they they was nothing like the divine feminine. They like drama. This, this will say, I'm taking the front row seat. They like, the, whoever they hooked up with like drama. They like attention and they gonna go there with you. They gonna talk that shit. But they like so much shit that and they're so karmic that they're not guarding themselves because they went and got, it says new man. So that means that whoever your divine masculine was with obviously always had a side dude or a side chick. However, this is a new band. I'm telling you, this is what it is. It's a new person. So this is what they always do. So your divine masculine cheated on you and messed around on you, but they went right into this karmic and this karmic doing the same thing to them. They keep changing these different partners here. But this lad, this current one here, the new person, is down low. 
And every but somebody know about it because they said some Jerry Springer shit right here. And this person is going through judgment because they ultimately they're they're running from their self healing. Instead of healing, they're going from from one toxic relationship to another because they don't want to face the divine feminine. But they just going through hell. Look, they ain't their money wrong. Bankrupting to add insult to injury. They got this child to take care of. <laughs> they got to take care of this karmic energy ass child that they didn't get. <laughs> they ass about to go broke trying to take care of this person here. And they a hoe. Ooh, and they, ooh, it's just like, like the car say, some Jerry Springer type of shit here. This person needs a heal here. I feel like the divine feminine is the queen bee. See, there go that child. I told you, this person got to take care of this child here. This person may have another child. This person may have two children with this karmic person here. And some of y'all divine feminine didn't even know. Some of y'all, this divine masculine left because they got this divine, uh, got the karmic pregnant again here. Ooh, but this you, you the queen bee. Divine feminine, you are the queen bee because you're not a, you're not into all of that shit. You're not a part of all of that. Feel like you done moved on and you're doing you now. So give me some more energy for this divine masculine here. Ooh. Yeah, they under judgment here. So if they come in, want to give you all of this until they do some healing and closing out some cycles, it's just going to be a mass offer here. See, this divine masculine wants to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. It's like, you know how you send a long ass text message here? This is what I feel like they want to do. This is their emotions. They want to they want you, they want to release their emotions to you because they done been through some shit, man. They ain't make it seem like divine feminine, but I feel like they still probably ain't gonna come back to divine feminine. Cause they now I feel like this is what they're thinking. I don't feel like they're gonna do it. I feel like this is what they're doing. This is what they're thinking here. And, and with all of this chaos they got going on, I feel like they're thinking about communicating to the divine feminine, probably making it some, some useless ass promises. They know they asses can't keep. That's why I say masked offer. This is, it's not legit. They can't even face you. If you ever see, if you just so happen to run up on your divine mask and just know that they're going to either have shades or they will not look you in your eye. <laughs> Because they know, if anybody know what's in their soul, they know Divine Feminine know. Because Divine Feminine been doing this spiritual work, so they're going to look around. They're going to look around. They ain't going to look at you, though. See, communication, I told you, they want to talk. This, see, they want to talk to you now. They want to talk to the queen bee in this thing right here, in this piece here. They want to communicate with you here. See, they're not transforming. They're not changing. They're not evolving. They just want to come bring their staticky ass right on back over there to divine feminine here. Is what they're trying to do. Let me pull some more of these cards and see what's going on here. Love letters. Like I say, this person wants to reach out, but it ain't going to be legit, though, because it's coming from a toxic ass place. If you know what they say, you're only as good as the company you keep. If you've been screwing on a karmic and she's stepping out, picking up entities and, and bringing them back home to you and you ain't you ain't repairing shit, you just burning down the bridge on the way out, you just did divine feminine like she was lesser then. So what you think you going to happen? What you think is going to happen to you? You're not even protected anymore. You used to have divine feminine really praying for you because she felt that soul connection, but shit. Divine feminine self-loving now. This could very well self-love could be divine feminine too. This could be very well what you went and did. You went self-love. You're living that single life. You're doing awesome. And now through this self-love and this single life, now you done bossed up and you are officially the queen of B in this thing. Okay? That's queen brown eyes B. Okay? Ha! You the queen bitch. You said, no, 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 sweetheart. I'm not a bitch. That is queen bitch to you. Queen B, huh? See that shit? See, that's what y'all doing, Divine Feminine. Y'all getting y'all shit together. Y'all done got y'all shit together while they need to heal. Let me pull some more of these cards here for this Divine Masculine. Poor thing. Who poor thing, Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine. What do you have going on in your life? How you feel about your Divine Feminine here? Show me how you feel about your Divine Feminine in this current situation or whatever you're going through. What is your energy towards your divine feminine, even in this time of separation here? 
How do you feel about your divine feminine, divine masculine? Even in this time of separation, divine masculine. Tell us, tell us how you feel. Ooh, see, I told you they want you to marry them. See, wedding, I told you. This divine masculine is thinking about settling down. See, this, this, this <laughs> whatever this, 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 this Jerry Springer type of shit that they've been through, they want to settle their asses down. I'm telling you. It's like they've been scared straight, uh, collective shit. It's like they has been scared straight now. They didn't really had to go through some shit. You know, I guess it took, I took, I guess it took something really, really crucial and scandalous to happen to them in order for, it, it don't hit the same when they doing it to other folks because it, it ain't to them. But when some shit come back on them, then they can't help but to deal with it. And I bet you the whole town know that their chick, whoever their new man is, they know they on the down low. Oh my gosh, here. Look at that. Ooh. That's scandalous, I'm telling you. All right. So, passion. See? They feel passion for you, Divine Feminine. This divine masculine feels passion for the divine. They feel, see, they, see, they love you, divine feminine. Ain't that some shit? Oh my God. Don't ever think your divine masculine is not thinking about you. It's just that he done dug his ass into some shitty ass shit and he has to deal with it because once again, you're his other half. You're their other half. And you can, you know, no one can stop anyone from moving on from a situation. That's your free will. You remember, we all have free will. But it's the how you do it that I feel like uh, creates that karma here. Are you going to uh, throw your ass up and tell Divine Feminine to kiss your ass on your way out? Or are you going to stand there and, uh, and treat her like, like you was treating her when you was running up in and standing up in and doing, and she was nurturing and loving you and doing all those things? See? This is why this divine masculine is under judgment. They're under judgment. And now all they do is thinking about this. They think about this commitment with you. I told you they want to marry you. They This this ain't no marriage that they're in. And they could be whatever they in. I feel like they're just with somebody. Just, just in a relationship they didn't have kids with. Could be come and law. But they thinking about their passion, huh? This is what they think about. Ooh, this is how they think about you. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that shit. Ain't that what they going through? All that shit. <laughs> and all they can do is think about the divine feminine, how their asses need to settle down because they say they know divine feminine got their back. They know divine feminine going to take care of them and love all those wounds away. Ooh, they know divine feminine got their healing energy. See, this is why they want that commitment because once again, they feel like the divine feminine is a safe place. Divine feminine is a safe place. Meanwhile, they <laughs> they got all this deception and lies going on with these outside children. Child, they got bankrupt. They the child who <laughs> the chick that they messing with got a new man and they on the down low. <laughs> oh shit! This divine masculine catching hell. This is why their ass is under judgment. See. They're, this is karma for them. This is karma. It is. They're receiving karma here. See, because they need to do their freaking shadow work here. This divine masculine needs to civil up so he can do some shadow work because they don't. See, most of these divine masculine are so full of arrogance and so much pride, you can't tell them shit. Especially when they have a bunch of women chasing after them you, or a bunch of men. They think that they are the shit and they feel like, you You know, who, who are you? I got all these other options. But when you have a spiritual contract and a soulmate connection, you are not like the other options. God dang me. There is only one divine feminine, just like there is only one divine masculine. Now, you got some people underneath them, but we know who is the father and the mother. Okay? So when you treat the divine feminine like she lesser than, then spirit going to come in and spank that ass. And this person got their ass spanked because they need to do some... Shadow work. Spirit's telling you to be cautious about this person. 
Make sure you proceed with caution with them because they're going to come in with that mass offer. Look at that mass offer. See, because they, they need to do some shadow work. If they ain't did no shadow work, they still going to come here with that same old shit. They're going to come here with that same old shit they was doing because they still need to figure out. And if they ain't walked away from whoever they was with, they even got more shit to, to deal with now. All they think about is calling divine feminine, think about the divine feminine, but they they need to, they need to do some transformation. They got all this seduction in it. This is what they want. But you see, they they fired up. They want some sex. <laughs> they thinking about loving you and doing all those things because now they're lonely for your affection. They want to drain you again, but it's a mask off for they until they can take their freaking mask off, which is gonna require them to do this shadow work. Then they can't, shit, they're not going to read it. They're going to be doing deception and lies with the divine feminine too. Give me a couple more cards for this divine masculine here. Let me see. Let me see. How does the divine masculine, what message does the divine masculine have for the divine feminine during this time of separation, spirit? What does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know at this time of separation, spirit? Show me. What message is spirit? What do you want your divine feminine to know, even though you haven't talked to your divine feminine? If you've blocked divine feminine, divine feminine has blocked you. There is no communication. You haven't seen your divine feminine. You haven't heard from your divine feminine. What would you like to say to your divine feminine, divine masculine? What would you like for your divine feminine to know? Show us. We'll tell it. We'll let your divine feminine know right on over here. I keep hearing songs, and it always reminds me of you and I. See, they back down memory lane. Now they reminiscing and shit. <laughs> they thinking about the lovely times of life. And the only time that uh, they were settled and peaceful and full of love was when they were with Divine Feminine. See, y'all got a special song that come on. Every time they hear that song, it tugs at their heart. Ooh, it tugs at their heart every time they hear this song because it reminds them of you and that love and energy that they were around. It's like this person's around by darkness now. But it's part of their judgment. They're going to have to go through this because they got to they got to choose to self-love and do that shadow work. They got to look at their ugly side and, and let the light shine through. But it comes with healing. It's hard because we can't seem to work out our differences here. Well... That's probably because Divine Mask and Divine Femme don't want to deal with no F-boy ass Jerry Springer type of shit, see? See, you wasn't ready to commit back then. You're ready to commit now, but it's not. you're not healed. So you're not going to give your Divine Feminine the best of you because you're not even the best of you yet. You need to heal. Self-love. Be single for a while. Stop trying to chase after everything. And anyway, Divine Femme don't ever want her, she don't ever want to feel like she can't trust you. Because you haven't proven yourself to divine feminine. But, and you know, divine feminine left your ass because divine feminine know her worth. If she know that she's sharing you, what's the freaking use? You're not the only one out here, see? See, because your universe wants you to know, divine masculine, that options. We all have options, including divine feminine. Shit. Now... Are you coming in with all that F-boy shit, third-party situations and ships and shit? Don't nobody got to put up with you. You community love now. You're not even probably as good as you used to be anymore because you done hooked up with all these toxic-ass entities. You ain't got no freaking money. So it would really take a divine feminine to really have to still love your ass to build your ass back up. But who wants to build you back up when you're not even healing like you should? Don't nobody want to go through your shit now. So it, it, there's going to be differences because no one wants to put up with your shit because you need to heal your shit or stay your ass where you at. Now, I took a vote and they decided for me to represent them and tell you that. Okay? All right. Now, what else you want your divine feminine to know now? Come on. Speak on up. You know, yeah, but I have to represent the divine feminines too because you talking about there's differences here and we know what the difference is. We see your shit. You got all these outside babies and side chick dudes and situations. Jerry Springer shit type of bankruptcy down low <laughs> shit. But God, yeah, there are definitely differences, you say. <laughs> 
This lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully, I can do better next lifetime. So they didn't gave up. I Like I said, I feel like this person, they think about the divine feminine a lot because they think about talking. See, this is it. I feel like they write letters to you mentally. They just... I feel like they just talk to you in their mind. And I tell them they just really, really talk to you. They, they, they imagine things. They're fantasizing about you. But I don't feel like, I feel like they didn't gave up here. I feel like they may have given up here. With the shadow work card too, they could be under some type of sex magic too here. They could be, you know, because if they're giving up, <laughs> this says, hopefully I can do better in the next lifetime. Would they act like they're not going to try to get, you know, for some of y'all, let's just say some of y'all, your person may be under sex magic, you know. This is why they keep staying in a very toxic, karmic, Jerry Springer type of shit relationship. All right, uh, Divine Mask, and what else would you like the Divine Feminine to know? Come on, speak your heart, speak your truth. What you got going on? We, we, it don't matter how bad it is. You deserve to be loved. You are very special. Yes, Divine Feminine, yes, she is. You deserve to be loved too, Divine Masculine, but don't nobody want to love you and your issues. That's not fair. You need to heal. That's your problem. You deserve to be loved, but you, you're not looking for love. You're just looking for immediate gratification. You're not looking for nothing that's really going to bring life to you. I feel I fell so deeply in love with you. Yes, you did see that this Divine mask. they fell in love now. Like I said, they are in love with the divine film. Don't get it twisted now. I ain't say they wasn't in love now. I didn't say that. You didn't hear me say that. Nope. Yeah, they in love. Of course they are. It's a divine connection. Just like divine feminine is still in love with them. But divine feminine ain't no fool. Divine feminine had to get out that shit because it was weighing divine feminine down because divine feminine was the one in the emotions. Divine feminine was the one that was putting all that love out there. Just for you to just walk away from it like it wasn't nothing. So, yeah, you fell in love. You're supposed to. You both fell in love with each other. But what good <laughs> What good did it do? I'm just saying. I act like I don't care, but deep down it affects me more than you will ever know. See? See, most of y'all divine masculines, they, they ghost you and not, not talking. But if you only knew what was going on in their mind... Like I say, some of these divine masculine dug a hole so deep in their life that they only thing they have left of divine feminine is just their fantasies because they done dug themselves in this type of shit. They they don't lo they don't lost hope because they're around negative dark energy. They're not around energy of light. They're around negative toxic energy. So they don't have hope around them because they're only as good as the company that they keep. So the people that they're around is not helping them. <clears throat> It's not helping them at all, see? They have commitment issues here. Like I say, this person is going to come in here for some of y'all, or this is what they're thinking, but if they just so happen to come in, and you may even receive a phone call from this person, but just know what they're really operating in. They're not transforming. They're not changing their ways. They're still, they, they, they're not, they still wearing their mask. They still got that same mask on. You're not going to, they're not going to fully open up to you because you remember it says, I act like I don't care, but deep down it affects me more than you ever know. See, they're not going to show you how they really feel because they know that their life is so effed up. They can't give you shit now anyway. They barely giving it to they self now. Their life is, a, is open. They dealing with Jerry Springer type of issues. Shit here. They don't need that. It's hard to move on when I keep comparing you to everyone new that I may see. Yeah, but that's who you chose, Divine Masculine. So you made that bed. Now you got to lie in it here. That's not fair for Divine Feminine to wait on you. So this one is just pitiful, y'all. This Divine Masculine is pitiful. They done, they, done, they done dropped off. All they can do is sit around here and fantasize about you, Divine Feminine. Let me pull some of these cards. And then I'm going to wrap it up. 30 minutes. What's going on with you, Divine Masculine? What's going on with you and your chick? What's going on with you and your person, Divine Masculine? Well, what happened with you? We know not, not the divine feminine. I want to know about your person here. Who is your person with this outside down low energy here? Who is your person messing around with? Or is it you that's on the down low messing around with somebody? Huh? Could be. Stalking social media, Instagram. So this is what they doing. They watch your social media. They ain't going to say nothing to the divine feminine. Now somebody's stalking. Maybe it's them or maybe it's who they're with. Somebody watching the divine feminine. 
and they laugh and they think it's funny, passionate connections, true love. So someone is looking at who they feel like the divine masculine is really in love with. So it's their person is stalking the divine feminine because they know that they're in love with them. They know the divine feminine is the true love. And they know that this divine masculine still has a lot of passion and they're still connected because there's a spiritual connection here. And somebody is watching them. See, this is the karmic soulmate that they're with. They're with a karmic soulmate. They're with a karmic soulmate. They're stalking the divine feminine because they know that their divine masculine loves them. So look, toxic situation, poison is very bad, unpleasant, or harmful. A toxic relationship this is what the divine masculine is in right now. They're in a toxic relationship. Mm -mm. This divine masculine is in a very dangerous, because it says very bad, unpleasant, or harmful, toxic situation. See, because their person, whoever their karmic is, is, is watching the divine feminine. She's obsessed. So you know how she's doing the divine masculine. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if they wasn't doing some type of shadow, a spell work or something on them. But I feel like the divine masculine needs to come out of the shadow side. But they could be under shadow work. Someone could be forcing this dark shadow or this devil toxic energy over them. Because either way it goes, someone either needs to release it or someone is, is doing it here. Because the, wherever they're at is toxic. It's venomous. It's very venomous and dangerous intriguing you're mysterious there's something about you that he likes see huh told you they watching you they say you are intriguing honey did you hear that divine film i say your person your divine masculine chick <laughs> that's stalking you uh because she's she she's your your divine masculine's karmic soul mate is stalking you because she knows the divine masculine still has a lot of passion for you and that you are their true love because you are divine connections. And she says that you're mysterious. There's something about you that he likes. She looks at you. She stalks your, your social media. She stalks your face, but she stalks whatever about you that she can because she's looking at you and comparing you to her or to him. And they're trying to figure out what is it? They just can't put their hand on it. What is it? about divine feminine that will make him just be so intrigued about divine feminine what is it about her that has the divine masculine so passionate about oh i heard that shit mm -mm. damn they watching y'all divine feminine that they, they they little chicks they little drama ass shit that they got going on they watching you honey because they don't understand Ooh, they just got a lot. Like the car said, this is some Jerry Springer type of shit that this divine masculine is in here. Like a fate, that car came out again. See? Also, this is how the karmic feel. She's scared about her person, the divine masculine, with you. It says, lack of faith in a partner's decision, making abilities or uh, being around another man or woman and remaining faithful. She's scared the divine masculine is going to come to you and be unfaithful to her so she's stalking now maybe she's stalking the divine masculine uh page but i feel like she's stalking everybody because she thinks it's funny but really she's low-key insecure Ooh, this is a bunch of shit and see she got a side dude Oof. i feel like she got a side dude but she don't want the divine masculine to have anyone else but she could be doing work on the divine masculine to keep them stuck Oof. history look I know you two have a history. Ooh, snap. She on your ass. <laughs> she ain't looking at divine master. She on the divine feminine ass. She coming straight to you, boo. Ooh, -wee. she coming to you about her dude. Ooh. So she's stalking you. She's stalking the divine feminine is what she's doing because she don't trust her person with you. Because she's trying to figure out what is it? What is it? What? Well, why don't he see it in me? So she's insecure too. This is why she's a karmic. Oh my gosh. She knows. What she said, I know you two have a history. This is why she worried about you. Because she know that you, the divine feminine is the divine masculine's true love. And that this is going to always be a passionate connection between the two. 
And she's trying to look at you and figure out what is it and how can she get it? Because she want to be looked upon like they look at you. She said, well, I don't know why the divine masculine don't look at me like they be looking at the divine feminine. I have a problem with that, God dang it. I don't trust this divine masculine. She says she's she trying to figure out how you do that there. Ooh. But she don't want him anyway. I use him for money because he lets me. Yes, I'm a gold digger, money hungry vulture. Yep. And, and that's why they ass is under judgment now because they money is going to let this whole, this, what, what is it, a uh, gold digger? Took this divine masculine straight to the cleaners. Huh? But once again, they don't want to sow and build nothing with the divine feminine. So this is why their ass is receiving karma for that. Because they decide to stay in this karmic soulmate relationship here. See, they'll never have nothing. <laughs> they ain't going to never have nothing until they leave this one. Because they, they being used, they don't even love them. They just like the control over them. Ooh, that's what it is, honey. Mm -hmm. Tell you. She know you two have history too. Ooh. But she know damn sure don't want the divine masculine to leave her now because she using them for money. That's why she looking at you. Mm. All right, Spirit, give me one more card for this reading for the divine masculine. Spirit, what is the possible outcome for the divine masculine here, Spirit? What does the divine masculine, the collective need to know here? What is the possible outcome, Spirit, for this connection here? Or what's going on with the divine masculine, Spirit? What is the possible outcome here? A lot of cards. Oh, let's see. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is the possible outcome. I'm going to take all these five cards here. It says a secret. The first card says a secret romantic relationship or pattern of flirting. See, this is what I'm telling you. This is their chick. Their chick got their side dude. That's the new man that's on the down low. And this is all they do. I told you that that's what they always do. They always have somebody new. They have a pattern of flirting because it said new man. They always get someone new because this is what they do. They flirt because they, this is what they do. They're gold diggers. They're looking for the next big, big hit. <laughs> they done already used up this divine masculine. They ain't got shit left. So they, you know, they, they, they know to, to be a hoe too. It's like whatever type of hope the divine masculine came into the divine feminine ass, they done ran into a bigger hole, a karmic hole at that. Broken heart, my heart is broken over this situation here. So I feel like this karmic soulmate that they're with is broken over this because she feels herself losing the grip on this divine masculine because she thought that she had this person wrapped around their finger here. She could, like I said, could be doing some type of spell work on them here. But she thought that she had this person wrapped around their finger, even though she knew about you because she know you two have a history. But she didn't know that, that this person was watching you. Now, she probably found out this person was watching you. She probably tapped their phone. She could have did something. Stalking. She's stalking something. She's stalking all y'all y'all pages here. She done found out something because she say all in your business, laughing her ass off. She found out something. What she found out is that this divine masculine here is your true love that the divine feminine is the divine masculine's true love and that there's always, always was, always is, always will forever be a passionate connection because this is a divine connection. Whether they live together and get it together together or not, that is what it is. This is infinity, which is eternal because she's trying to figure out what it is because she ain't never felt this way. She, she know the divine masculine don't look at her like this. She says, intriguing, you're mysterious. There's something about you that he likes. She's trying to figure you out. This is why her ass is stalking you on social media. And she's finding out why her divine masculine, uh, your divine masculine is so in love with you still. Uh, and so she said, you're not the person you were last year and you won't be the next, the person you are now, right now. So I don't know if you was in a bad place last year. You probably was broken over this. They could have got together last year. Could, she could have been following you for a very long time, knowing about you and seeing how you taking things. You know you can tell a person energy by the, their pictures. They going to be sad, something about their energy. She's been following you, but she know you're not the same person here. 
you ain't messed up. Like I said, y'all divine feminists on y'all shit. Y'all done self-love this thing. You're single and you're abundant, and now you are indeed the queen. Be you but call your own shots. You don't have no, no connections with this. And so she's looking at how you're growing. It says devil energy, dark energy, bad intentions, beware, protect yourself. See, she's she's mad. She's she's in this very uh mis, uh dark energy here. This person that they're with. This karmic, this karmic soul tie, this karmic soulmate, it's in dark energy, devil energy. And I feel like it's because a lot of shadow work, she, she keep doing a lot of bunch of spell work. She stays angry, upset, and annoyed. The host or host hostile. She's full of anger. She's mad as fuck and can't even be mad at you. She mad at him. So I feel like what she's doing is she's steady putting more spare work on this person where they feel like this lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully I can do better next lifetime. They feel like their whole career messed up. They probably feel like she does it. They probably know she ain't nobody to mess with too. But they still long for you. This person lost everything. So they got to deal with whoever this karmic soulmate is and whatever type of lifestyle she bring in with it. All the meantime, the divine masculine is thinking and fantasizing about who they really love. And it's you, divine feminine. But spirit, they can't get to you now. They're blocked. Spirit has blocked them because they're not ready. They're not healing. They're only going to bring a pile of more karmic shit your way. And spirit said, nope. That ain't for divine feminine, goddammit. That's for your ass. Now, you let made that fucking bed. Now, you better lay your ass in it. And that's really what it is. Uh, all right, divine master. You're going to have to heal. Now, you're going to have to release some things, close some cycles, do some shadow work, look at that ugly side of you so that you can get to the good part of you. Because you got some divine feminines out here needing their divine masculine. But if you don't want to get your shit together, if you choose not to, then you'll just be replaced because you're not irreplaceable, just like you replaced Divine Femina. But Divine Femina will indeed upgrade your ass. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. This is what I have for you, uh, div uh, collective for the Divine Masculine. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you on the next collective video.